Saturday, Sleeping Evening family, and welcome back to the channel. We are opening up more of these three packs. Yes, we are. We got three Cleffa and one Cyclozar. And we're gonna see how well we can do out of these three packs. I honestly think I've gotten better luck out of these three packs than some other stuff. Uh, I will say, getting a, although I did get a walking wake out of a single pack, which was pretty awesome. <laughs> Um, got last time I opened these three packs, I was able to get that Morty. So let's see if we can get lucky again and get another SIR. I would love to see that gouging fire. So, <laughs> and I did put one to the front, so we'll do that. But I would love to see if we can get <laughs> that gouging fire SIR. It is actually my chase, so I'm hoping I can actually pull it. We shall see, though. Pineco, Roserade, Iron Thorns. All right, next pack. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are enjoying your Saturday. And I'm just going to keep doing this. <laughs> Hopefully you're getting some, if you're getting packs, hope you, you're getting some good pulls out of your packs. And uh, yeah, I know. We got Sizzlipede, Keldeo, and to a Roaring Moon. I know the Orlando Rachels was recent. I try to keep up with them sometimes, but I can't really keep up with them all the time. I know, I'm pretty sure there's like some more regional stuff before we get to world championships so because i believe that that is in hawaii this year and i think it's not until like august so i think there's definitely gonna be more tournaments before then we got Cenoscorch, tranquil mawile scissor ex look at that one i think we pulled the scissor before i think we actually pulled it out of our booster box if i'm not mistaken so this would be a dupe, but full art dupes are pretty good. And this is a nice scissor, a very nice one. Let's see. All right, so we got a good hit out of that three pack. My puppers love to come in here. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Let's see what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, we got our snacks, Cleffa. And I will sleeve those up uh, later. <laughs> Gotten so many Cleffa cards now. <laughs> I do not mind collecting the promos. And uh, I believe Mike Kip got me some Cyclozar. So I got a ton of those Cleffa. All right, let's see. I may just be doing the, the one to the front on all these, so. <laughs> But we got Hand Trimmer, Robska, Fortress, Ooh, Heroes Cape, uh, Ace Spec, Relicanth, and we got a double hit. Oh my goodness, I don't think I had this Relicanth yet. I'm pretty sure not. I will check. I will, I will definitely check. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I was missing that Relicanth. And then we got this Heroes Cape, which between my Kip and I, we do have all the ace specs, so we did not need the hero's cape, so it will be a dupe. Um, actually, I think I traded my friend uh, Misty for that hero's cape, but two hits out of one, that's already awesome, so I have this one, uh, mystery time. I did trade uh, Misty for that hero's cape, so yes, it is a dupe now, <laughs> that's too funny. But that's awesome, we got a double hit. I actually haven't gotten a double hit yet, so. But Heroes Camp will be up for trade. I already know that. But the Relicanth, I think, is brand new. So brand new cards are always awesome to add. We got Bolton, Mudsdale, LGM, Cutie Fly, into a Coridon. Now for those who play, are you guys using the new Coridon Rhydon, the uh, Hollows? Because I believe both of them are very playable. I just know 
uh, Missy is actually using the Maridon deck. Um, but I know, I think Rayquaza's doing the Coridon one, so I'm curious to know which one is actually better or which one is more of a preference. We got Drillber, Lycanroc, into a Melt Metal. But not too bad. So far out of two of the three packs, we got Scizor EX and a Relicant. Relicant is one I see pop up quite a bit on a uh, stack sales and I'm always tempted to try to get it and I'm glad I held off <laughs> and then we got our Cyclozar so we got this hollow foil that's on here you guys can see that and it should be on here with the Cleffa as well yep so <laughs> Uh, like I said, I definitely had some better luck out of these three packs. So, I would recommend them. I'm not saying they're going to hit every single time, but I would recommend them. I am going to probably try to get different products too. Might grab a couple booster bundles. Try those again or some single packs. And maybe ETBs later on. We got Mudsdale into an Iron Thorns. I know I've opened two regular ones and the two Pokemon Center ones. And that's really all I've opened, so, of ETVs. I don't know if I'm gonna open up any more of them, just because I feel like they have a lower hit ratio. And I seem to be doing better with like three packs. But Booster Bundles might be another one I might consider uh, opening a few more of. I just keep going for these because I seem to be having a better luck, better time out of these. Victini, Go Lurk, into a Mag Cargo. All right, we haven't gotten a hit yet out of this one. Let's see. Okay. I could also just get more three packs and just kind of do a battle of Cyclostar versus Cleffa. I'd be fine with that, just because I've been having some good luck out of these, so. Let's see. We got Explorer's Guidance, Palafin, Mr. Mime, Walking Wake EX. There we go, we got our hit out of there. It's just a regular EX, so I would say that's the weakest so far that we've seen out of them. The Cyclozar. We got one more Cleffa, though. I am really glad we did get at least a this is so far what we've gotten. And um, if you guys have opened the three packs as well, I know you guys have seen me open up several of these. Let me know how well you guys have done. I just want to know if it's just my luck or that three packs seem to be coming back around. Because I think for a while I kind of avoided them since it seemed like they were not hitting as well as they were but they seem to be doing a little bit better. <laughs> let's see, let's see. And I mean, it's not that long that this set came out and we already have uh, Twilight Masquerade right around the corner. So I do wanna get the last few cards for Paldean Fates before that set drops. And I lack like five cards. But I do want to try to get those before it comes out. LGM, CDOT, into a Flutter main. And I am still waiting on some mail. I don't know why the post office is so slow. Because, funny enough, it's actually some mail that I'm getting from the Great Plaza. It's gotten slow again. And <laughs> I don't understand why. Both of her letters still have not shown up here. And usually hers just show up within a couple of days. So I'm not sure what's going on. A lot of my mail seems kind of delayed. And it's just, I know at certain points of, of the year, it does get busy. <sighs> but you gotta get, you gotta get movement on it. <laughs> Giraffery, Meryl, into another Fluttermane. All right, we are down to our last pack. <laughs> I have so many frustrations with the post office, so it's, I know it's not just me. Um, 
Oh goodness, I wish it would just be get it together. <laughs> oh man, but we got our last pack and we're gonna boot Mike Kip and Evie and see if we can get any luck on this last pack. So we got Bramlin, Giraffering, Roselia, Cutie Fly, Iron Jugulus. Ooh, I think we got an ace spec there. Salvatore, Reboot Pod, a spec, which we've already gotten before. Eerie, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, no way, no way. Oh my gosh, my Kip is gonna flip. This was the card he really wanted to get. I did not expect that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we got the eerie special illustration rare. We got another double hitter pack off of this. <laughs> At the very end, we not only get an A spec, which it kind of spoiled a little bit, and I do need to sleeve that up, but we got the eerie special illustration rare. Oh my gosh, brand new, oh man. Eerie is one of, I think, his favorite of Team Star. And this card is amazing. I love that Lucario is in the back too. So, oh my gosh, this is awesome. And of course we got Annihilate, who uh, I have nicknamed in my game, uh, Angry Mama. <laughs> uh, but oh my gosh, we got another special illustration rare. I'm so excited. Oh man. Yeah, I'm definitely probably gonna lean more towards these three packs. I'm definitely going for more of them. I've had so much better luck out of these than I've had out of E2Bs as of late. So I'm definitely gonna get more of these. Like I said, I may try more booster, another booster bundle or two, but definitely sticking to three packs on these. That's my recommendation. So again, if you guys have had really, have had incredible luck or have opened to three packs, let me know down in the comments how you guys have done. I don't know if it's just, I've gotten really lucky, but I have just noticed three packs have gotten a little bit better lately, but it's, oh man, I can't wait to show my kid this card. So uh, if you would hit that like button, and if you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. We're going to be opening up more three packs. This is it. This is it. <laughs> but, Yep. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next video. And as always, take care, sleep well, and good night.